All right. Now we were supposed to start talking about uh, Lenahan 20 minutes ago, but here we go. Let's do this. So I said that in calling me a divisive lunatic, loud, scary, and oh, a sadist and a bully, that Lenahan has used racist tropes to try to discredit me. Now, the objection has been that uh, Linehan is not American. So him call calling me uh, a lunatic, loud, scary, weird, and sadistic were not necessarily racist, you see, uh, because he's Irish and it, it, those those are not <laughs> those are not racist insults in Ireland. Uh, and so I said, well, here's the thing though. I'm not Irish. I'm American. And there are indeed racist tropes that uh, comprise, those descriptors. It's also peculiar to me that he chose them because he could have said anything else. He could have said, um, I don't know. Well, first of all, he could have ignored me. Thank you very much, Joey. Uh, Joey says, here's to calling out that TRA light has hurt a bunch of women. It certainly has. It, it definitely has. Uh, let me just say this real quick. Um, I think it's also very interesting that the the Brits, specifically Jane Claire Jones, Kathleen Stock, um, and Linehan, uh, most of the time Linehan, won't mention my name. I, I think that's absolutely fascinating. It does give them plausible deniability. But when they talk about the Americans, exactly how many American feminists have platforms of any size? I know that number is growing but why don't they just mention who they are talking about specifically? And they did mention the American feminists who were uh, treating Claire Graham so terribly, ignoring the fact that Claire Graham accused me of being a pedophile on a public forum. So the Americans, who can they be? Which Americans Shh, are treating uh, the Brits so terribly and you know, we, uh, we're, I guess we also don't know what we're doing over here. We don't have a real feminist movement. Um, but why, why won't they name me? It, it is, it is very peculiar to me. Um, especially when Kathleen Stock joins in on that because she got run out of a job by TRAs. Now, it's possible that there is a classist element here, but getting these women to discuss anything honestly is really, uh, is really impossible. And I also don't think that engaging them would actually be uh, worth my time because they kind of don't know what they're talking about. So Linda, Linda Firth, excuse me, Firth is saying, a Brit here, I praise you, Karen, but it doesn't matter to me where you are from. It's what you stand for that counts. Exactly. Thank you very much for that, Linda. I appreciate that. Um, so now I don't pay that much attention to uh, Jane Claire Jones or Kathleen Stock. So I don't know if uh, they're if they are also engaging in the use of racist tropes to discredit me, but I know that Linehan has. Linehan is a writer. Linehan is, uh, is familiar with controlling his prose. He knows how to do that. That's what writers do. Could somebody get rid of the spam bot here, please? Um, so Linehan uh, knows exactly what he's saying. Unless, of course, you just want to say that he's a crappy writer and just kind of says stuff off the top of his head and doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Now, see, that would make him ignorant. So are the, are the Linehan stands 
actually saying that Linehan is so ignorant that he doesn't know when he's being racist? And the other side of the argument is that um, I should know that Linehan doesn't mean this in a racist way. Um, so I am supposed to have the cultural literacy that Linehan does not have. You see, it's okay for him to say this crap and not know that he's being racist, but it is not okay for me to look at it through uh, or from my American perspective and say that this is racist. And Chicana Feminista is saying, he knows. Of course he knows. Of course he knows. So what I don't get, and Brooke Stevens is saying that is not my job. No, it is not my job. Um, ah, yes. Michelle is saying you'll need a mod to keep banning each time. I agree. Um, and FEMA is saying Kelly J and Mr. Menno came to my defense. Oh, good Lord. Yes. Linehan implied that FEMA is a TRA plan. So when uh, when when people when 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 people stand for Linehan when they cape for him, I don't understand why they're doing that. Now Aaron Brewer uh, talked was talking about Linehan on uh, on Getter today, and she said that uh, even if people don't like Linehan, he does have a bigger reach um, than I do or than Ex Lanzik does, and then. Joey Bright does, and he will reach people that um, that we can't reach. Uh, the spammer is using a VPN, and each time you kick, they simply switch their IP. There are so many brilliant women here. Um, I had no idea. Okay, that's how they keep getting in. <sighs> Men love to harass women, don't they? It's amazing. Anyway, so the thing is, uh, I don't. I I understand her point. I don't agree with that. I think that if we give oxygen to a misogynist like Linehan, who called me a divisive lunatic, who told uh, Kelly J. Keene that it was a, a, a bad move to hug me because I am a divisive lunatic, um, called me a sadist and said I was weird, loud, and scary, and also floated the idea that I am a, a TRA plant. Um, I don't care if he's got the reach of, you know, all the major networks. I don't have any use for him. And I think that if the pro-reality movement is going to have credibility, uh, we need to consider that. Now, uh, Aaron... I believe is really, uh, you know, really a fighter for the rights of women and kids. That's, and I, I love the work that she does. Aisha is saying Glenner has hate reach. Yes, he does. Um, I think that, um, <laughs> I think that, um, Aaron does excellent work and I would not tell anybody to not go on anybody's show or to, not to go on anybody's channel. Um, I will, however, state my opinion of them. So I, you know, uh, I admire Aaron's work. I admire her. Um, so I am not going to tell, I'm not going to tell her what to do. And Gay is saying, why the fuck are so many of these straight white men speaking for women? Um, because they do that, gay. I, you know, it is it is something that that straight white men do. They really believe that they know exactly what women's experience is or should be, and that they can moderate it, and that they can they can control it. That's why you know I'm getting the the shit from uh, people where it's like, ah, you're talking about sex, ah. It's obscene. You're corrupting minors. Ah, that's why I'm getting that. And, you know, because women talking about our bodies as if they actually work and mean something to us is something that men don't want us to do. And so the handmaidens don't want us to do it either. 
So, I mean, and that's that's what this whole thing is all about. Like, that's a, a that's a big part of this gender nonsense, right? That you get, or the men get to decide what a vagina actually is. And is saying, why do we need Glenner talk to talk about women's rights? Because he's a man. And because as the man and as the big like GC daddy, Gay Chapman is saying, LOL, lesbians don't have sex. I've heard that too, but you guys have to get together somehow or another. I mean, you're not just sitting on the couch holding hands and watching movies, right? I mean, you know, I am sick of that. Which one is the man shit? There's a lot of, there's a lot of tiring crap. Uh, So he is the man. He is supposed to be the arbiter of everyone's experience, including women's experience. Now, he doesn't have to be, uh, he can sit in judgment of women's experience. He can pretend to be some kind of feminist icon, but just to go the gossip route for a moment, here's the deal. Linehan is divorced, right? And he said that uh, the trans world took his, his wife away from him which is a very interesting way to look at it. However, if he is some kind of of, of feminist who is going to make the world safe for women in some way, uh, if he he was, if if the, the thing that like dragged him out of his relationship was his activism on the behalf of women, what about the woman who was in the house with him? Why wasn't he looking after his relationship with her and with the children he had with her? Why was his focus out there instead of in his home? If the goal is to make the world safe for women, uh, wouldn't he be focused on the needs of his wife? Or is there some implication here that his wife is some kind of anti-feminist? Why couldn't he manage his own behavior in such a way that, you know, his relationship would have uh, survived if not prospered in the midst of all of this feministing that he's doing? Uh, Why was he not able to pull back and say, you know what, I can see that this is starting to come between us and I don't want that to happen because I want us to have a stable home for our children. So you know what, let me cut this out. Why didn't he do that? If he's such a feminist, why did he, why did, now I don't know what went on there. I have no idea what really broke them up, but I will say this much. I do not believe it had a damn thing to do with the so-called feministing he's about. Yeah, that's a load of bullshit story that he tells. His Gamergate attention prior to this movement contributed to his family issues. That does not surprise me. 